Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation, and we're back again with a little Luna action, all right? Uh, but today we're going to do a little comparison in World Boss Ultimate, Ebony Maul, Stage 40. And we're going to see the difference between having a uni and not having a uni, all right? So what I want to do, though, first is go into her skills here, okay? And on her four, she has this entice, right? All right, well, let's take a look at it, okay? Now, when you hit the four without a uni... BAM! Entice immediately, okay? Extremely useful skill, especially in world bosses. BAM! Immediately, okay? Now, let's get out of here. Let's equip this uni, alright? Okay, we'll equip the uni here. Alright, well, I'm gonna go back into the skill preview here. Let's do this again, okay? Now, it still has the entice, but the difference is, the freaking entice comes at the end of the skill, all right? And something that kind of sucks, you guys, is when you're doing this, when she spins around like this, she can be guard broken pretty easy, actually. And then you don't even get the entice. So that kind of sucks, all right? So let's get out of here, all right? So let's take her into World Boss Ultimate without the uni first and see how she does, and then we'll try her with the uni and see how she does. All right, let's rock and roll. Okay guys, so here we go. Let's do this. All right. I'm gonna start with that five, get that immunity. I hit the entice and there we got him. He's all under control, all right? And this is the beauty of having that entice at the very beginning, guys. You can pretty much manhandle old Ebony. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there's really not a whole lot he can do. It's kind of similar to Scarlet, you know, she mind controls him and she just keeps him locked down. Well, with this entice, it's kind of the same thing. You know, you just keep him locked down and you can just deal God damage to him. It's, it's crazy, all right? And I had to switch out there because Luna, Luna doesn't have very good movement speed. She's a little slow for my taste. I wish she had a little bit faster movement speed. So a lot of times I like to switch out during that. But here we go again. All right. And as you guys can see, man, she is just mowing him over. <laughs> I mean, there's really nothing he can do. I mean, it's honestly, this is super easy, you guys. All right. This is no problem. I'm just going through the rotations. All right. Just going through the rotations. Piece of cake, all right? Look at that damage, man. Whew. Luna is a bad mofo, though. Jesus, this girl's strong. All right. Whoa, get out of there. Whoa, get out of there. <laughs> That's not a good place to be. All right. All right, and she's just melting this guy. All right, now we're in his next phase. All right, buddy. Let's go. Entice him, boom. Not much you can do there, huh? Right. And something else about the without a uni, guys, when she does the four and she spins around, if he goes into an iframe, you lose the entice that way too. So you can be guard broken or you can lose the entice due to an iframe. It really kind of sucks. I mean, it limits her big time. All right? And you see how easy this is. I mean, her basic setup is just freaking pretty awesome for this I mean really the only thing I ever hate about this her setup now really I mean is that five you remain stationary it kind of sucks that's something that the uni fixed you can cancel the five but then it did this stupid thing with the entice where it comes at the end so it's I don't know I mean I prefer I mean honestly guys as far as world boss is concerned I prefer this setup because you see look what I'm doing here Look at this, we got about two bars left, and we're not even at two minutes yet. She is melting him. Look at this, guys. I think she's going to get this done before two minutes. Not bad, not bad. Look at that, you guys. She did this in three minutes, okay? Now let's take her 
with the uni and see how she does. Okay guys, so here we go again. Now see how she does with this uni, alright? And see if there's much of a difference here in the time. Alright man. Now guys, with the rotation with the uni and world boss, it's a little bit different than what it is when uh, ABX, at least for me. I always like to hit the five first, get that immunity, and then what I do is I cancel into the four, and hopefully I'll get that entice at the end, and then I do the two. You want to do the four and two while your immunity is engaged, okay? Then use the one and the three after that because they're iframes, okay? And if you do that, you'll have good survivability, guys. And as you see, we're pretty well getting it done here. We're, we're not doing too shabby. Like I said, you want to try to use the five, and then you want to try to use the four and the two while the immunity is engaged, all right? Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. Man, I thought I was going to bite it there. Like I said, she's a little slow, man. I really wish her movement speed was a little bit faster than that. Yeah, there, my skill got canceled, so I didn't get the entice. All right, that kind of sucked. All right. Okay. No. Lost my entice there, too. And this is what I'm talking about, guys. This, that kind of sucks, man. I don't really care for it. All right, and here's where her speed kind of it kind of hurts her, you know? She just doesn't run very quick. You know, I usually take a little bit. Yeah, see? Usually I just switch my character, guys. But luckily I got close enough I could hit my five-second immunity there. Save me. All right. All right, and their damage is still, you know, very respectful, guys. It's still really good. It's just, I think it's easier without the uni. But as you can see, we're still getting it done pretty well. It's not too difficult. You know, as long as I remain in that rotation, I seem to be doing all right. Okay, hit the five. All right, my two was ready, so I hit that, and then the four. Like I said, guys, after that five, either the two or the four, and then one, three. And you'll find you got some pretty good survivability if you do that. <laughs> oh, he's going in that next phase. All right, buddy, here we go. Whoa, whoa, careful, careful. All right. There you go, buddy. Oh, not bad. There we go, there we go. Alright, now when I ran ABX, these uh, they were pretty close in their scores, so we'll see how they do it time-wise. But time-wise, it's looking pretty similar, to be honest, you guys. But still, with a uni, she should be doing quite a bit better. And I think that's the thing that a lot of people are kind of upset about, man. You know, like, they want the uni to be better, to have more damage, to do better. You shouldn't have to rank it up to Mythic, for Christ's sakes, to make it that much better. You know, you should be able to just equip it, and it should be quite a bit better just from doing that. Alright? But, you know, maybe that's my opinion, but I think a lot of people would agree with that. <laughs> you know, when we buy these unis, especially a premium uni, we want them to be good. You want them to be worth the crystals. But as you guys can see, she's making pretty close to the same time as without a uni, but not quite the same, alright? She's already passed it up a little bit. All right, so, hmm. All right, so 17 seconds slower than with the uni, without a uni. All right, you guys, I so hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. Bye.